So leafhoppers are small wedge-shaped insects. They're about an eighth of an inch long. They undergo incomplete metamorphosis. So they go egg, nymph, and adult. The nymphs look like miniature adults, but they don't have wings. The adults are very mobile and agile. They can hop, they can fly, and they can crawl away very quickly. Leaf hoppers have piercing sucking mouth parts, which they use to suck the sap out of the plants. One type of leaf hopper is the potato leaf hopper, and it's known for the damage that it can do to agricultural crops like potatoes, soybeans, alfalfa, raspberries, strawberries, and also some woody plants like maple, birch, and apple trees. When feeding, leaf hoppers inject saliva, which contain enzymes that causes cell damage and reduces photosynthesis in the leaves of the plant. The plant then becomes discolored, turns yellow, and sometimes it turns brown around the margins. And we refer to that as hopper burn. So that is a condition that is, is visible and a symptom that you may have leaf hoppers. Leaf hoppers migrate from the Gulf Coast, where they overwinter on alfalfa crops. They migrate northward in the springtime on the wind and the weather that we get. And they land in the Midwest around June. So it's important to scout those plants early to find out if you've got leaf hoppers, especially those nymphs, before those damage show up on the leaves. The nymphs of the leaf hoppers are located on the underside of the leaves where they hide from predators and where the humidity is higher for them. To determine whether there are leaf hoppers under there, you can shake the plants and catch them on sticky traps, or you can scout and flip over a couple leaves and look for those leaf hoppers. They're bright green and they kind of move funny, like a crab, forwards, backwards, sideways, very strange. Usually there are not enough leaf hoppers on your plants to cause significant damage, but some of the damage will be aesthetically unpleasing to ornamental plants, and so some people want to control them. Some non-chemical control involve using row covers early on when the plants are just planted before pollination. Other things you can do are use yellow sticky traps to trap some of the leaf hoppers or you can just deal with it a little bit. In instances where you think there'll be a lot of damage, say you find a lot of leaf hoppers under your leaves, then you may want to apply some chemical controls. Let's start with the least toxic first. Spraying with insecticidal soap or a pyrethrum insecticide will help prevent leaf hoppers, but it will have to be repeated. If you want something that will last a little longer, you can use a synthetic pyrethroid like Lambda Cyhalothrin, you can use a carbaryl, or you can use acephate. Those, though, are general broad spectrum insecticides and they will kill more than leaf hoppers. Just make sure to read the label and follow it. It's best to get a handle on your leaf hoppers while they're young. You want to check early and often to get ahead of those leaping leaf hoppers.